Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. So... Cerberus... is attacking Citadel. Ballsy move, I do have to say, but... Salary and Delatres counselor said something bizarre about Udina. So, but let's just bring Javik because he deserves to see Citadel. And uh, while we're at it, let's bring Edie as well. The robot. And that was very emotional, t emotional tone in 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 E voice. Come on, bot. Shit. So that just became a fire battle battle zone. Put that on. You serve me, robot. Nothing is as handy. Putting putting the turrets on your own side is really useful. Shit, Bailey. He seems to be hurt. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. What about the government? Have your leaders been killed? They split up. 
I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Cerberus, so, so it would most go. likely be Udina working for or with Courtesy them, but why? Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else, but if he's inside, why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually, it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor would have a clearer picture for all the good that does us. One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The executor's office is defensible. He may have gone to ground there when the shooting started. I'm on it. Just a sec. There, now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Bailey appears quite cynical, but he seems to be, in a, that kind of sense, honest. Hey, so. did you hear all that? Yes, I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Oh, yeah. And Thane, why he can't run, he's got the Keprol syndrome. Basically, his lungs, lungs are rotting, starting to rot, and he... It, it, uh, the, what it does, it's quite, uh, well, it, it's related to climate. Hana homeworld is very wet and Drell have evolved in arid planet. Meaning meaning that their lungs don't really like that kind of moist air. So at long run it develops them makes them have a Keprol syndrome which is a basically unpleasant disease. It kills them slowly, something like a cancer, you could say. But of course, what it does to Drell is not. Uh, 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 writing is a bit inconsistent. You could still say that, well. Well, it ain't. Mod number two. Burn, burn him. Oh yeah, I said the phalanx is choosing to use the phalanx instead of troops in the lobby. They were in seven in. is better. It might be that Councillor Udina was working for the Cerberus, but my personal view is that he, there is no indoctrination involved in this case. Just old-fashioned that he saw he he saw what he thought was a winning side and decided to jump for it. Well, because hey, Cerberus is that human side, and Udina, being a politician and hu human counselor, means that he has to be driving humanity's advanced benefits. Oh, he decided to so he decided to jump on several ship. I'm going to blow that one up. Hello zombie. Hello robo zombie. Well, I wonder why would be Cerberus doing all the all these cybernetic modifications to its troops? Because low-level cybernetic in enhancements in Mass Effect are very common. It seems Cerberus was very thorough and methodical. 
Uh, thank you. Thank you for your observation, Edie. Uh, and despite they're all the cybernetic zombie things that Cerberus troops ha have, they have not lost their, you could say, combat actual, you could say, They have not lost their combat ability talent or ability. Oh yeah, chance to switch weapons. Extended barrel. Oh uh, yeah, and now I can get to the elevator. Oh wait. None yet. Body language indicates contemplation. In my cycle, it is said the Reapers took this station in a matter of hours. To see its inhabitants fight back gives me pause. You are welcome to share your feelings. There is hope for those living now. There was none for my species. That is all. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah, but then again, on. Chavik cycle Reapers had complete absolute and thorough surprise Humans didn't so the level of this type of cycle is not at that level really Herc. Warn her if the fill out reports properly. Oh yeah, Captain Bailey. Oh Amanda Owen. Oh yeah, kicking ass and entry four. Kick Herc's ass from the other end to the other. I guess that's the kind of to do list. Kind of humorous little mention, but uh, some money. Yeah, despite, despite all the combat uh, do things Shepard is doing, he is still quite eager to grab anything of value because, hey, they're dead, so talent. Uh, oh yeah, evidence. So, oh, somebody had been smuggling guns at the station, cunningly. Hornet, Got plenty of guns to find. Ah, the graphics seem to be glitching. Oh yeah, there's, uh, there's that all forward. Time to give, give him a surprise with a form of a bullet to the head. And apparently Cerberus had an insider and they want to get rid of him. So whoever it was, my guess is Counselor Udina, it sucks to be him. As in real big time. There is damage here, we may be too late. Money. It's always good. Oh, 
all those suits are highly pressurized. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to break them. And I can set that all those suits because they're pressurized. But others are quite tough. And way more. It's to the face. struggling to get through not much really you could say impressive wave about those Cerberus troops Bailey looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards damn all right keep searching if you don't see the counselor's body don't count him out yet Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Martin, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. It wouldn't be a disease would killed him. I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're oh, being yeah. taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. So... And we are well, just were introduced to the Cerberus Super in. Assassin Henchman there. Guy Ling. He's an asshole. That hurt. 
So Udin is trying to seize power and allied with servers to do it. But my guess is that there is no Reaper indoctrination involved in this gun in this case. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative, their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Udin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. And phantoms are low. Basically, low tier enemy, low tier versions of Kyling himself. Or maybe Kyling is the first phantom. So yeah, servers is well has been well equipped, but I wonder how, where in hell does do they get? Illusive man get all those troops because he's he most likely has lost hundreds if, if not thousands of soldiers already and that kind of amount of men is well hard to I don't know how many would that how many crew in total lies in blue in mercenary companies like Eclipse and Blue Suns but Cerberus most certainly rivals them maybe most likely even more even more powerful in military sense. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it was something like a couple of thousand men at Eclipse, mostly what? Shit! Oh yeah, that's... Jovic is bad, is tough bastard. Mentally and physically. Mentally, especially mentally. And phantoms are dangerous. Rapid fire weapons would be very handy and get them. Well, they see the door, but they didn't see all the way. And not the first time the sh shepherd does something crazy. Because, well, shepherd going, doing, planning to do something. Oh, not planning, just doing something crazy. It's more like his modus operandi, rogue specter. I don't think there was, any, there wasn't. I think the uh, uh, basically initiation ca ca capturing a rogue spectre. Calmore Plaza, where's the count? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great. Oh, Atlas is much more about... Alright, thanks for he thank you for help, but he, he, he seems to be kind of... Well, he, his character is just to be to be somebody who was very, quite... Quite... Tended to run quite loose with the rules and regulations, which are important, but then went to the... But he, he definitely has 
father in the right place and he knows right and wrong. And the fact that there are lines you do not cross to get to your goal. That if you must compromise achieving your goal because you don't want to reach and use certain methods, it ain't wrong. Coiling and the goddamn. But yeah, ED's robo body not only is pleasing to the eyes, is strong as hell. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. That's one. Hang on, I think I can overload his car. That's more like it. Hope it helped. It's not gonna work twice. For now. Yeah, conduit's broken. Incoming phantoms. Shit. Oh, well, thank you. Shepard, bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. <sighs> he's on his way up, I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Above us. Oh, there's lots of elevators around here. Down, boy! And this little is tall place. But then again, it's a big space station. I see them. Jump! Yep. What's that noise? Gun! Get down! Go! There's Caden. He's with Cerberus. Put away the weapon. You don't want this to get ugly. Stand down and I'll talk. Talk? Then maybe I'll stand down. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Budina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Shepard, look at us. <sighs> this can't end well. Just put it down. You know in your gut that I'm right. Listen to it. Caden, you're always true to what you believe. I admire that about you. Listen to your gut. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! Oh, yeah. renegade interrupt. Damn. Get the council back and cover that door. The door. Bailey. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. 
Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Lang. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. Oh yeah, elusive man, scheming as always. Because he he certainly would be have be somebody who would be very good at keeping things separate and of all kind of thing all kind of distractions that we look uh, over every centimeter of those tunnels shepherd your cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors oh well uh, he likes to fight he'll show up again pardon me if i'm not reassured by that we can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Uh -huh. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drug blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. So, they are now. I'm at Citadel, and there are all these kind of little plot events. And those kind of things go going around, which includes lots of running around as well. So uh, I would have to do some cut away some of these stomping arounds. So I'll be going to say hello to Thane first. Uh, now I'm at the hospital, we're at the memorial, and there's plenty of patients, there's plenty of people. It really tells that how severe the situation is. Help you. I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill but not under that name. He was injured, stabbed. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. Oh yeah, fake the ID. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Oh. Is he still alive or not? Mr. Creo slips in and out of consciousness, and the outlook isn't good. It's hard to tell how much time he has. When he's awake, he's pretty lucid, never forgets anything. I think that helps. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Oh yeah, Drell, don't forget anything. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Oh, yeah. 
Goliath also has Commander, deep, raspy voice. I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the Indian spirit. Traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Galahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives uh. he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. The Ingrils is dead. But as much as you can say his death wasn't bad, there are worse ways to die. A Mass Effect has shown many bad ways to die, fast and brutal. But he died in a manner you can say does not humiliate you at all. He was at peace and he brought peace with it. But still, trying to go we to the next place. Oh, at Citadel, there's possibly a Batarian terrorist named Korak around here. So it's time to go and see what might be happening. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony. Will they regret? Uh. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful, <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine and rejoin my family. All right, 
but I will not call I will call the rather call the nurse about the case I'm done here good he'll cough himself to death without a sedative no wait I Just take it easy. There. I really don't know was that a right or wrong decision to do. But it certainly is to do that 300,000 killed civilians is not easy thing to live with. Even if they were but just basically just batarians, it still wasn't easy decision to do. And uh, it looks like I'm done at, with Citadel. There's, there's nothing really interesting going on. So, see you next time. See.